It's Thursday, and I confess I've been tracking NCAA scores. It's March Madness. I'm pulling for Missouri-Kansas finals. How about you? Anyway, that's not what this is about. I'm actually preparing for Sunday. I'm excited about worshiping and sharing God's Word. We're going to be in Matthew 18, 15 through 20. Many call this the confrontation passage. Uh, what do you do when someone sins against you? I like to refer to this as the restoration passage. This is what Matthew 18, verse 15 says. If your brother sins against you, go and show him your fault just between the two of you. If he listens to you, you've won your brother over. Then it goes on to talk about this in this extensive process of moving towards restoration, and it talks about our authority in God in the process and also the agreement we must find with one another uh, in the process. So we're going to be looking at this passage on Sunday. This is probably the most either neglected or abused passage in all of the Bible. Uh, it's abused because actually when conflict happens or sin happens, we just tend to ignore it. It's abused because some people just take every little offense and confront everybody, and they just become known as this confrontational person, when really we're supposed to be kind and gracious, tender-hearted to one another, always forgiving one another. But when true sin happens against us, what do we do? How do we handle it? What is the godly way to approach it? And that's what we're going to look at in Matthew 18 this coming week on a sermon entitled Restoration. So would you pray for me? Would you pray for our church as we receive this message that we can learn to deal with conflict in a way that restores one another and glorifies God? We'll see you Sunday.